This video is going to be a no-nonsense, very serious Pinterest video. How to make a lot of money on Pinterest is what this is all about. And guess what? A lot of people do not want me to make this video because there's a whole group of people out there who have been on Pinterest for a long time and they're making a lot of money. And it is, it's kind of like they're golden goose, but they do not like newcomers coming onto the platform and using new tactics that scale faster than ever before. And that's what I'm gonna teach you in this video. Now to start off, this is our outline. I don't like big, complicated outlines. I need simplicity. I'm a very simple person. It has to be easy for me. Pinterest, we have research, creation, scale, and I'm gonna teach you these three things in the video. So number one is research. Let's come to Pinterest. This is a free tool, trends.pinterest.com. And if you have a page already, it will show you growing trends your audience loves. So I already have an audience because I have a page on Pinterest, right? But not everyone does. And we're able to use this for different things. So it's saying, look here, for my audience, people love bohemian bedroom decor. Great. They also love cozy house. That's a keyword cozy house. So now we're beginning to do a little bit of keyword research. Now, if we scroll down a little bit further, we have discover trends in the United States. This is free. This is super, super powerful. If you don't have any interests or any of these filters tied in, it's going to give you like the most popular ones growing trends. You can do top yearly trends. Check it out. Nails is the most popular by far on Pinterest topic. And all of a sudden you can see what are the most popular topics on Pinterest. It's not, you know, this is not a mystery here. It's right here in front of your face. Wallpaper is huge. Fall nails is huge. Yet again, nails, right? Nails is all over the place. You could have a whole website on crock pot recipes, right? And I'm sure people do. Crock pot recipes, you know, you dive into the different demographics, specifics. But look, off here to the left, you have interests, and these are sub niches. This is what you need to focus on. Say you are in the home decor space, click this button, see what pops up, and get an idea of what the heck is popular. Basically, we want to fish in a lake, in a body of water where the fish are already there. And we can see bedroom ideas is huge. The search volume is huge. Therefore, we have a lake and we know fish are in that lake. And the lake is the lake of bedroom ideas. A lot of people, the old way of Pinterest was just kind of observe, right? Figure out, okay, those people are doing well over there. Let's just do something similar, but we can get even better. This is just phase one. Now this next step is gonna separate your stuff on Pinterest from everybody else. This is where you're gonna make the money. This is pin clicks. It is a paid tool. It's made by my friend, Tony Hill, who if you knew how much money he made over the last five years, on Pinterest, it would make your head spin. It would make your head spin. So this is how he does it. He made a tool based upon how he does it. Check it out, bedroom ideas. So let's go back. We found this keyword off of the free tool, right? Pinterest trends. We push it here, bedroom ideas. And all of a sudden we have long tail keywords, right? If you're an SEO, if you're a blogger, you know what that term means. And you can just think of it as many words. That's not the technical definition, but let's just stick with that. Bedroom ideas for small rooms. Bedroom ideas for small rooms, cozy. That little cozy there, that little word cozy makes a lot. It makes a big difference. So what we can easily do, what we can easily do is jump into one of them. We need to get a little bit more specific. Bedroom ideas for men, good. Good, let's just divide it into men. Women, men, let's just go after men for a moment. We click there and then all of a sudden we have another set of keywords. This is powerful. And what I usually do is I export it. I click this button, boom. Right here, I have how many keywords is this? I'm still scrolling, we're still scrolling. Goodness gracious, I need to do this. All right, we have 284, call it 283 different keywords we can write upon all of a sudden. And they're based upon data. Now data is great. I mean, we all love data. We should be using data-driven decisions in what we're doing here. That's the whole point. But our brains are not as good at disseminating data to making sense of data than ChatGPT. So I created this keyword segmenter. What we're gonna do is just type in those 283 keywords and let it do its thing. And all of a sudden, as you can see, it's gonna give us general themes. There's a reason we need general themes of what the heck is going on. So there's aesthetic styles. So in those keywords, we had bedroom ideas for aesthetic black, minimalism, so there's like generals. Now we have colors. Colors is a big thing. People apparently are searching for colors and this is starting to make sense for us. Themes, okay, earthy, emo, football, specific themes. 
room types. Our brains as humans, it's much harder for us to look at those keywords and be like, how can I make sense of this? But all of a sudden, we're seeing how to create our boards, our pins. This is so valuable. And if you want this, this will be posted, this custom GPT in the Maverick forum. I have a link in the description. It'll be free for you to use. Um, demographics, age groups. So people are saying 30 year old, 25, 20s, living situations, college student. We have the data at our fingertips. Pin clicks gives us the data. Now we know how to use it. Now that was research. Now it's creation mode. You have to do creation based upon research. Don't get lazy. Data driven decisions. Do you feel me? All right. So check it out. We have a list now of all of our keywords segmented into what we want. It makes sense. Beautiful. We could work on this sheet right now. This sheet right here could make you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a month just off of Pinterest if you set it up correctly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose one of these, just one of these. I think I already did. Which one did I choose? I was in ChatGPT. Here we go. Stylish bedroom ideas with white walls. So this is the one. I have to find it again. This one right here. This one. Let's just mark this one. We're going after this specific keyword. And I'm going to teach you how to do this right here. Bedroom ideas for men, white walls. I have another custom GPT I'm calling Pincraft or whatever it's called. It doesn't matter. It works. I've used this same exact one to drive a lot of traffic to my website. So stylish bedroom ideas for men with white walls. That is the title of a pin right there. So all I have to do is give this tool the idea. Bedroom ideas for white men, walls, whatever. It gives us the description with hashtags, which is cool. Some people say hashtags don't work. Some do. I've found success with them, right? Stylish bedroom ideas for men with white walls. And I asked it, give me four more descriptions. And I actually should have asked it, give me more description and titles. So boom, right there, right there. I have four titles for a pin or four titles for four separate pins and four separate descriptions. Awesome. We just created the framework based upon keyword research of four different pins. Now, if we want to take it a step further, create 10 more variants. And I'm going to show you why we're doing this because we're stepping into the next portion of creation into scaling. A lot of people do not. This is why people will not like this video. Scaling. People hate AI in certain niches and they hate seeing how we're able to scale easier than before. Now for the creation process, Ideagram has been doing better and better. I really like it. This is the tool. I asked it, create a singular room that is a great perspective, hyper-realistic, great visual interest for this. I gave it one keyword based upon what? Based upon what ChatGPT gave us. And it's going to give us four different images. And these look pretty darn good. I mean, that's cool. A men's bedroom, it's white. It has a rustic feel, right? There you go, rustic feel. So we have options. Do we use all four of these in you know, Pinterest? We could use all four of them, right? We could duplicate our time if they're good. What I often do, I look at one of them, probably this one. I like the angles. I like the interest. You know, deer head, it's going to evoke some emotions for a certain type of person. Oh, my husband loves deer, right? That type of thing. That one right there, I'd probably do. That one right there. So it gives you four options, four images. Pick the best one is what I usually do. If you see multiples that are good, great. Use that one too. But here's what we do next. So just like that, upload the image, right? Now we got to find the title. We got to find the title. ChatGPT, give us the title. Boom. All right. Title. Rustic men's bedroom ideas with white walls. We're under the character limit. Looks great. Now let's come over here, grab this. Boom. Right there. It looks great. Now we're missing something. We're not going to address it in this video. We're missing something very important, but we'll talk about that in a second. That right there, good to go. Publish it, ship it. It's done. Now we have a problem because we had two images that I liked and we only had one variant of this rustic men's bedroom. I like this. Create another variant of this, right? It's kind of on the fly, right? Not a problem. Rustic elegance. Cool. That works for me. So we're going to use this one. So here we go. Just like that. Paste it in. Come grab this. And realize all these things can be done to scale if you have team members doing it for you. They could do 100 pins in one day. Are you running the risk of spam You know, on Pinterest? I guess you are. I have never been hit with it. Maybe I will one day. But we are pushing the limits. Realize, let's just take a step back. This whole channel on YouTube is to experiment. Find the edge. What is the edge? I want to push this as far as I can for experimentation to bring it to you. You know, take what I'm doing and make it your own. Do not copy me word for word. I don't think that's a good tactic. But anyways, just like that, we published two pins. Was that hard? 
Could you have done two pins just like that within five minutes? Absolutely. So extrapolate or whatever the word is, how many pins could you do in a day? 100, 200, 300? Could you have multiple Pinterest pages to do three, four, 500 pins in one day? Yes, you could. So what I'm about to show you is probably me getting carried away. Maybe I shouldn't show you this, but it is what it is. I want to have a cover for the board. In other words, this thing right here, bedroom ideas uh, for men, white walls, right? That right there. We want a cover for it. Why? Because people are going to save this. They're going to pin it to their boards. They're going to share it with their friends. They're going to use it for inspiration. And we need to have something that looks good for them. So which one pops out to you? I mean, I like this one, although the scribblies is a little weird. But it says, you know, that's not the right word. So ideagram does good with some words, some not. Bedroom ideas for men with white walls. Perfect. I like it. Let's use this one. So what we're gonna do is create a specific pin just for that, and we're gonna use that as the cover photo. And this is what it looks like, and it's gonna elevate the whole situation here because we're gonna have a lot of pins under this one keyword. This one keyword is gonna have tons of pins. A lot of people question, how many should I do? I say exhaust the whole keyword, why not? And there's a lot of nuance you may not be noticing. I don't wanna go over everything specific. I'm gonna put way more details in a post, a mega post in the Maverick forum that you can refer to if you're a member. And I'll also share the different custom GPTs, the two of them, but pump the brakes because this whole video, we are trying to make money. And what I just showed you will not make any money, it will not make money unless you do this next step. And I'm gonna show you the easiest, simplest way to do it. So let's do a quick review of how people make money on Pinterest. They're gonna to go to a pin, ooh, they like it, they save it, many people see it, they click through to this thing right here, which is da, 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 a website, 25 Boho Bedroom Wallpaper Ideas, and they can scroll through all of this and look through it and they love it. They love it, it's awesome. But what did we not do on these three pins? We didn't put a URL in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use seowriting.ai. We're gonna say the main keyword is bedroom ideas for men, white walls. We're gonna say the title is 25 plus bedroom ideas for men with white walls. Here's all the different things that I'm doing. Uh, we're gonna have one AI image. So this tool will actually make one image and it's gonna be a 16 by nine layout. So it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look this way instead of this way, right? That matters for if it ever gets picked up in Google SERPs. We're gonna keep going. No, 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 no to all of these. And let's just let it cook. Let's run this thing and see what it comes up with. And there you go, just like that. Easy, easy, easy with the click of the button. We have 25 plus bedroom ideas for men with white walls. It gave us this image, like I said, 16 by nine, and it gave us words. Why are words important? Well, it gives us the opportunity for people to click down, read if they wanna read, you know, explore the options. Now, all we have to do as we create the images, the specific images, these three, boom, 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 all we have to do is inject them into the article. That's it. There's different ways to do this. You could just, you know, break up paragraphs. You could say, you know, every two sentences, add a photo, every, you know, whatever it is. You could have sliders, but all you have to do at this point is inject the photos into this. And then every single pin on this board, so let's come back here, every single pin on this board, bedroom ideas for white walls, for men for white walls, right? There could be 50 pins in here. I have one board with 300 pins and they all get to the same, they all point to the same URL. And once we inject the images, this is what it looks like. Looks excellent, high definition images, looks like a real website. We have words, we have breaking up of real images. When it renders on mobile, this is what it looks like. Looks great, tall images do excellent on mobile. And guess what? The majority of traffic on Pinterest is mobile traffic. And on top of that, just a little extra, this right here, ideagram, they all render in WebP. So all the images you export are in webp.webp, and those are very, very lightweight images. They uh, don't slow your website down, which is great. So there you have it. And realize, if you have questions, I try to go as fast as possible, as fast as humanly possible in these videos to keep you entertained. It's like infotainment is what they call it. If you have questions, come to the forums. That's why it's here. That's why we built it, because I wanna give you actual things to do, things to consider to do at the very least in these videos. I don't like top level videos that are just talking about, you know, create a Pinterest page and, and do this. I wanna show you how I'm doing it, right? And because of that, sometimes it's a little too technical. I get that. And if that's the case, if you're one of the people that have questions or just wanna sharpen your sword type of thing, come into the Maverick Forum. Me and Tony Hill are here. Here's what we're talking about. Here's what we're talking about right here. Check it out, I have a link in the description. Same goes for pin clicks, 
Same goes for those, well, those GBTs that I was showing you earlier. These ones are going to be in the forum with my mega post. But nonetheless, hopefully that's helpful. I want to expand your mind a little bit. A lot of people do five pins a day and they see incredible success. Five pins a day, right? That's great. If it's high quality and you can do 10 pins a day and double your efforts off of something, if you learned something in this video, great. Let me know in the comments what you're up to. What are you seeing success with? And I'll see you on the next one.